How's it going, Forex traders? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dapolis, and guys, you know, this season is all about chart work. Like, we're just diving into the charts. So, you guys already know what this is. Another episode of Trader Talk. And if you're just joining me for the first time, Trader Talk is basically a segment of my YouTube channel where I come to break down the charts. Now, over the past two and a half to three weeks, we've been trading together. You know, the markets have been going, giving me some profit, you know, some pairs are moving sideways so like i keep saying to you guys i'm here with you guys for the long run right i'm here to help you hold your hand even when the market is moving sideways it is my duty it is my obligation to come on here and show you guys what exactly is happening is it time to get into a trade is it time to come out of the trade is it time to buy sell or simply just be patient you see these are the kind of things that i noticed that a lot of traders struggle with they don't have proper guidance and that's exactly why i'm here i'm here to guide you guys so I'm going to be jumping into my screen shortly right about now so that we can discuss AUD USD. I remember in my last trader talk, <clears throat> I spoke about AUD USD. I'm currently short. Some things are going on with Euro USD at the moment. The dollar pairs are all pulling back significantly. So let's look at them. Let's see what exactly is happening. Let's understand why exactly is this happening. And I can assure you guys, there's always a reason as to why things are happening in the market, okay? And best believe, and which I'm going to be showing you guys, half the time, the market just wants to go and fulfill technical levels. By the time I open up your eyes, okay, and I show you guys what's up, you guys will be like, ah, so that's exactly what is happening. Now, before I jump into the video, there are two things I want to discuss, right? So... A student of mine reached out to me, a student on the Forex Mastery program, he had reached out to me and he said that um, he would like for me, Dapo Willis, to be given basically more trade advice on the Forex Mastery program, which I am eventually going to start doing. Actually, I'm going to start doing it, taking it a lot more seriously now. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm not sure if I want to... Guys, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I feel like it's time for me to... Okay, let's give it some time because I was thinking maybe I should put the Trader Talk episodes on the Forex Mastery programs just for the Forex Mastery students. But obviously, I have you amazing people on YouTube. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe drop another 10 episodes of Trader Talk on YouTube, maybe another 10. So we're currently at episode 41 now, so maybe another nine episodes. At episode 50, I will be considering at least taking most of the trader talk videos and putting it on the forex mastery program and making it only exclusive for them because you have to understand that they have paid for this program okay and it's only right that i actually give them a more tailor-made service so if you haven't joined the program i suggest you do so because most of the juicy information we're going to be putting on the program and you know what that means you guys might not be able to get access to dapper willis as you like to so if you haven't already grabbed the program and please ensure to do so because a lot of these freebies that i keep giving to you guys and all of this advice especially on my twitter and stuff like that we will now be channeled towards the forex mastery program so if you haven't gotten it the link is in the description as always or around here if you want that tailor-made handheld service whereby i hold your hand and i guide you through the entire market you need to grab the program that's one thing that i wanted to speak about the link is around here somewhere right so uh second thing i wanted to speak about i think our telegram group got taken down so there's going to be a link to the so telegram we tried to open a new telegram channel it just wasn't happening we opened it and everybody like five six hundred people rushed in at the same time telegram took it down so obviously they told me i've been hearing about discord for a bit but i, was, I thought it was more like an nft thing um but yeah i think discord is the way to go so what i've done is i've created a discord channel for all of you guys on youtube so if you're a forex millionaire out there i've created a discord channel it's gonna be down in the description as always first things first go grab the forex mastery program and then once you're done with that ensure to join the discord group and if you were on the previous telegram group i know we had over fourteen thousand people 14,000 people on the telegram group gone so if you were on there i didn't delete you i still love you very much i love you guys very much don't forget to join the discord discord group the link is down below but if you want a more in-depth approach you know you want all the juice you want the secret sauce grab the forex mastery program and if you want to be part of the community as well you can join the discord so guys once again i'm going to jump into the video let's look over euro usd gbp usd let's look over gold let's look over btc let's look over everything that's giving you guys challenges once again my name is dapo willis let's 
All right, guys, so welcome, welcome inside of my screen. Um, this trader talk, I'm going to try and keep it as brief as possible. Um, so I'm going to kick things off with Euro USD. Now, Euro USD, this one broke my heart because from, you know, I, I saw the move, but for some strange reason, I just wanted to play around with it. I could have actually made a lot of money on Euro, Euro, Euro USD going long. But I was banking on a quick pullback, okay, quick pullback into this region and then before we blow out. So I was expecting us to kind of like double bottom here and then jump to the upside. So I saw there was a supply zone somewhere around here. So I was expecting obviously a bounce of the supply zone around here, jump in short and then we can now take it to the upside. But that didn't happen sometimes. One thing about Forex is try as much as possible not to so i see a, a common mistake that a lot of people make which is they draw stuff like this they try to anticipate the waves the, the movements of the of, of the market so something like this and they can draw something like this and they can draw something like this <laughs> you know what i mean like this will only land you into trouble because at the end of the day you cannot exactly predict because at the end of the day we know that the market wants to come to the green bar which is somewhere around here at the end of the day, we cannot really predict the exact wave pattern that the market is going to use to get to where to get to its destination. So what I like to do is I just like to forecast the destination in general. Do you get what I mean? Like there's no point in trying to count the waves. If the market is going to go from here to here, my my job is to look for a way to buy, hold till it gets to here. I'm not good, I'm not interested in doing wave patterns up and down the whole place. It's gonna land you into issues. So, obviously, we try to anticipate, oh, guys, before I carry on, you know what you need to do? You need to subscribe to the channel, right? I'm going to stop this video right now. So, you have five seconds. Smash the subscribe button right there, right there, right now. Smash the subscribe button if I would, if I would do anything. Smash the subscribe button right there because we're trying to build this community and we have to build it and make it big. Smash the subscribe button and then once you're done, join the discord group okay join the discord group join the discord group okay hold on guys one sec sorry about that guys <clears throat> so two things smash the subscribe button right there and join the discord group so that because like i said our telegram got, group got shut down which is really unfortunate which is really sad um so if you want to get you know notifications about when i post my youtube videos and if you want to obviously join the community of interaction and all that the link to the discord is down i know a lot of people guys trust me i didn't have discord until today <laughs> until yesterday or maybe last week i just downloaded it but I mean, when Telegram started to give us issues, people recommended Discord. So now we finally have a Discord. I know it's a bit alien to a lot of you guys, but download it. It is more reliable. Telegram wakes up one day and just says, get out. But I think Discord is more reliable. They have better servers and they have better customer service. And I'm paying for the premium package so that we can obviously ensure that you guys get the best quality of service possible. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Now, what exactly is the Euro doing? In order for us to understand what the Euro is doing, we need to go on higher time frame okay we need to go on the higher time frame okay now i would not be surprised okay so we've had what we call a break of an inner trend line the outer trend line is insignificant at this point because it's all the way there so from what i can see this is very interesting if this monthly candle closes like this then this this the, we could potentially see a reversal to the upside for euro usd um yeah, we could potentially see a reversal to the upside for Euro USD. So the Euro USD and this is what is upsetting me. Should I say what's upsetting me? Because I saw, because I saw this breakout retest continuation to the upside. But for some strange reason, I just wasn't interested in looking at it properly. Um, but at the end of the day, well, it's one of those things, you know, so whatever, man. So this has happened. We've pulled that, broken out of the trend line. We've pulled back and we're now facing to the upside. And as you know, Forex Mastery students, you know, markets move from zone to zone. We've come from this zone, tested it, tested it properly, and we're now pointing to the upside. The monthly candle is looking like a bullish engulfing candle because we have engulfed one, two, three. So today is what, the 30th of March. If this candle closes like this, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm not going to lie to you, EURUSD might 
see some serious upside. But the first challenge it's going to have is 1.09872. Okay, guys, this when I'm looking at Euro Asia, I'm so upset. Beyond upset is what I am. But it's okay, it's one of those things. Now we know what exactly is going to happen. So next level target for Euro US is 1.09872. If we can take that out, next level target will be 1.1400. But this will be a major level um, of concern for Euro US. So we're going to watch it to see what exactly is happening. It seems like, and if the Euro US starts to rally, it might seem that the dollar might start to weaken. Okay, we might so anticipate potential dollar weakness. Um, depends on what happens to the Euro USD. Okay, so that's Euro USD in a nutshell. Um, a tr potential trade that I should have jumped in that I missed is I was expecting a further pullback into this region about here because there was a supply zone somewhere around here. I was expecting bam and one to the upside, but that didn't happen. It's part of life, it's one of those things. We don't cry, we move on. Okay, <clears throat> and that's one thing I like about my style of trading. There are always so many trading opportunities, always things for us to trade from, you know, and stuff like that. So this, this is Euro USD in a nutshell. Next level target 1.09872. If you weren't able to jump on the bandwagon, that's pretty sad, but if you were, kudos to you. I didn't jump on the trade, and I'll be the first person to come on here and tell you guys I didn't jump on this trade, okay? So, next pair I want to go over is AUD USD. Actually, let's look at GBP USD. Sorry, traders. Sorry. I'm really, really sorry to cut the video short. I know you were enjoying that fantastic episode of Trader Talk, but I wanted to bring you guys some information that I thought and I know will be very useful to you guys. At the end of the day, the essence of this Forex channel is to help you guys make more money. That's exactly why we're here, right? So however it is we can make money from the Forex market, why not? Now, for the last two and a half to three weeks, I've been playing around with a concept called copy trading. So for those of you guys who don't know what copy trading is, copy trading is basically a concept whereby you copy another person's trade. In most cases, hopefully in your case, you copy somebody that is a successful trader. So it's a situation whereby there's a master trader and then you just simply piggyback on them. Now, the reason why I'm telling you guys about this is at the end of the day, I see people struggling with technical analysis, risk management, entries and exits. And I know that you guys will be open to an option whereby you can just click a button and then whatever you know a profitable trader places, whatever trade they place gets replicated on your account. Now, I've been doing some digging around, been doing some research for the very best platform that you guys can use for your copy trading journey. And I stumbled on an application, rather a company, it's a broker actually, a company called OctaFX. Now, I've been playing around with their app, pretty straightforward, pretty nice, pretty neat, pretty clean. And I'm going to be diving into the app. I actually have the app in front of me, so my Android phone. <laughs> Guess what guys, I actually had to go get an Android phone because I wanted to play around with the platform. I wanted to try it out. I wanted to see what it was all about. And trust me guys, it is really cool. So I'm gonna take you guys into my Android phone. Don't worry, it's not gonna take that long. I just wanna show you guys how to use the platform, how to use the app, how to copy, how to do this, how to deposit and all that good stuff. So guys, yeah, let's jump in. So I've literally got my Android phone right in front of me and I wanna show you guys how to use this stuff to Trust me guys, I'm gonna be quick, don't go anywhere. You need to pay attention. You might find this stuff really, really cool because I find it quite interesting, right? So the very first thing um, that you need to do is you need to go head over to the Play Store. Now mind you, I don't really use Android that much, but uh, for you guys, I use some Android. <laughs> so you head over to the uh, Android Play Store and then you're gonna look for the OctaFX app, okay? not the trading app they have another one it's actually called the octa fx copy trading right the octa fx copy trading app so you just want to tap on it um they got a lot of reviews so it's about fifty-one thousand reviews and it's rated about 4.2 uh stars which is a pretty impressive app so i've already downloaded the app so what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and download the app um download the app and then once you're done and then the app opens so usually, obviously, I have already signed up to the OctaFX trading uh, platform. I've filled in my email address and everything. Guys, all you need to do is just follow the instruction and filling your information is straightforward. Email address, what's your password, yada, yada, what's your phone number is simple and straightforward. I'm not going to go over all of that. Everybody here is a trader, so you should know how this stuff works. So a simple form, fill it in and then 
voila you have a, a, a copy trading uh, account pretty much and I think if I'm not mistaken if you already have an Okta FX account I believe you can um, I believe you can marry both of them together uh, I think you can use that to log in as well but I'm just giving for me for people who don't have I know most of you guys who watch this uh, video don't trade really Okta FX I know most of you guys are from another broker um, so for those of you guys who are coming to Okta FX for this feature uh, simple and straightforward just fill in your information anyways without any further ado let's jump into the interesting stuff now so what if what is in front of me first things first you want to go to your wallet obviously you have to deposit so uh, this is exactly what i did so i went to my wallet and then i went to deposit right so you want to go to deposit now i tried the other deposit options the easiest for me was the instant bank transfer now i know most of you guys who are watching this are watching this from nigeria um but if you're watching this from other parts of the world you want to try the other crypto options um but instant bank transfer is pretty much the fastest one my second favorite way to deposit is via the teeth tether trc20 is pretty fast as well um so use either of these two um either of these two um deposit options for you to go ahead and place your deposit so yeah i just put in my information i put how much i wanted to deposit specified um the bank and stuff like that and i deposited actually i wanted to deposit more but one of my deposits got cancelled because i didn't put in the right information i wanted to deposit more money but unfortunately we only have 26 dollars <laughs> you only have 26 bucks man but that's cool that's fine um so yeah um so once you're done with the deposits now we have money yeah we have money you can see the balance then we head over to the interesting part which uh i know most of you guys are waiting for which is the copier area right now so what you want to do is you can see all the icons at the bottom you just want to go to you want to click here where you have a rating so you want to quickly come over to the rating section and then you can see all these master traders right so um I have some disclaimers that I want to share with you guys. The first one is never choose a master trader randomly, right? You want to check their stats, okay? Check their stats, open trades, floating uh, for profit and loss. You want to check their equity. You want to check the risk factor on their profile. So example, let's go check this guy, okay? So if you click on this guy, so his summary pops up. So you can see how much he has in equity, how much charge in commission what are the gains okay how many copiers does he have under him how many people are copying from him uh and then you can see his balance his leverage and how much he's made in this case this guy doesn't really know how to trade <laughs> but let's go back and let's let's see if we can find some really cool people and octa fx also i think you can rank them by uh risk appetite so the people who are the least risky people you can also sort that as well you can see this guy has realized gains of 79 but this guy looks like he knows what he's doing let's check him out um so yeah 66 dollars equity 31 percent commission realized gains let's see how much he's done over a period of time profit and loss uh i think he's made eight thousand one hundred and sixty three uh, us dollars which is a lot of money and then he has um if i'm not mistaken hold on let's we can check his trades Ooh. so basically guys you can also adjust your risk appetite as well you can re you can adjust how much risk you want you know how much exposure you want from your account so let's just go with the guy that we liked i think it wasn't golden it was this guy alexander alexander seems to be normal he's doing so once we do it here and then we set up copying now, if you haven't funded your account, you won't be able to do this. So you need to have a funded account. Once again, if you want to obviously get access to this app, this platform and everything to create an account, click the link in the description right there. Okay, so you get a 50% bonus. If I'm not mistaken, you should get 50%. Hold on, guys. Let me just copy that. Let me just make sure. Okay. Yep. Confirmed. If you get, if you use the link in the description, you get 50% bonus on your first deposit, right? So you can obviously click here, um, $25 per set equal 1x, copy portion, and then voila, there you go. Start copying. Let's see how this works. Yes. Okay. All right, fine. So you can see, 
click here to see the trades he hasn't placed any trades yet let's see the options add investment so this is where we get to add how much we want so guys once again you get to determine how much of your account you want to expose to these people right because at the end of the day it's other people trading right so you want to you want to take all of this into consideration so in this case let's go with twenty dollars um done uh confirm let's see oh not enough funds Ooh. all right i think it's already in here yes so the summary is here free trial seven days trades so let's read what they say in copy proportion it says select the size of your investment that will be engaged in copy trading the higher amount brings proportionality higher returns but also means higher drawdowns if the market goes down so what this simply means is basically if you do 1x so i mean if you're if he's trading 20 dollars you put you get risk twenty dollars as well if you want 2x if he's risking twenty dollars you're risking forty dollars and then if it's 3x you know and so on and so forth so that's what it means so i put uh, i've put one x equal right about here and then yeah so no trades yet let's play around with the app or close options add investment change so you can always options is where you can get to come change all the all the um what's it called all the options what am i saying options is where you get to come and adjust your partnership with this guy because it's pretty much partnership so if we had more money oh that's what this means so if we had more money we can obviously add more investment here and then if we wanted to take out our investment we can come here to reduce the investment available for redraw Ooh! so if we want to get out we can get out right so we can just put 20 dollars here and get the hell out and then um change copy proportion i think this is where we do the 1x 2x all right that makes sense and then most importantly if you want to stop copying just click stop copying like i'm going to do now close and stop so that should close and stop right about now 25 dollars has been returned to your wallet so that's pretty much it guys that's it um yeah i think we're good to go so that's pretty much it oh did i make money Maybe I made some money. Did I? No, it was. This was the same balance. So there you go, guys. Uh, it's, it's so cool. It's so interesting. Um, you guys download the app, play around with it. You might find it really interesting. Don't forget to look out for the very best traders, right? So you have um, oh, my stats. You have some really, really cool traders here. A lot of them you can choose from. I, I think I find this really, really interesting, right? So, but there's some disclaimers I wanted to quickly go over once again. Please ensure. Um, to check the stats okay don't forget you can reduce your investment you can increase the very the very important things you need to look out for here is you know how much do you want to invest okay and that's the other thing that does 1x 2x 3x be careful with that as well and then um yeah and don't forget you can cancel at any time so guys once again i recommend this app it's pretty decent um shout out to the guys at opti effects this is something that i feel could help most people out there um so yeah once again uh let's jump back into the video let's go all right guys so there you go that's pretty much it simple straightforward if you're interested in doing some copy trading octa effects don't forget to click the link in the description as always i think you get about 50 percent off yeah if i'm not mistaken yeah yeah you get 50 percent off while i was checking the 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 t's and c's you get no no not 50 percent. you get a 50 percent bonus hmm if you click the link below you get a 50 percent bonus wow so there you go guys click the link down below and uh without any further ado let's jump back into the video let's go let's see. now gbp usd is pretty much a confused camper at this point um is it gonna follow suit with what the euro usd is doing we don't know yet um we're not sure yet but i'm just gonna be watching it seems like biases are about to change it seems like overall trend is about to change it seems like we might just you know start to see some further some some movement to the upside from what i can see your gbp usd is still trending underneath the overall trend line as you can see pretty nicely pretty pretty cool um what we have done here is we've put in a left shoulder head but this right shoulder is, looks like it's trying to be stubborn so what i'm going to do is i'm going to box it i'm going to put it in the range um you guys already know how i like to do this just put it in the range put it in the box 
So whichever direction in which Jimmy POS decides to break out in, now you have to understand that these things are very, very natural, okay? Because we've been trending all the way to the downside, we retrace, we've pulled back, so now we have a sideways movement. So now this, whatever happens here, will then decide, or rather will then, um, yeah, we we'll pretty much then decide what GBPUS is going to do next. But for now, we're pretty much in a range-bound market. The market is up today, is down today. If you notice, the past week, 10 days, have been very, very challenging, especially for day traders. For me, I've been good because I've only placed one trade. I only have one trade open, which is AUD, USD shorts, but I've been obviously bashing uh, day traders on Twitter. I've been, you know, playing with them and I, can, I know what their trades look like. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know what their trades look like. They'd be very, very pissed. So that's what happens when the market doesn't have a clear direction. It doesn't just affect high time frame traders. It affects everybody because on lower time frame, look at yesterday. Yesterday was an absolute mess. Okay. It was an absolute mess. Okay. It was terrible. Like, all these spikes up and down the whole place. It's been... It's been uh, not just yesterday, but like it's been absolutely terrible over the last, what, 10 days because the market just doesn't have a clear direction. Now, for GBPUSD, I'm going to be leaving GBPUSD for now. I need it to decide what exactly it wants to do. I'm the kind of... Now, I pride myself in being right all the time. And the reason why I'm right most of the time is because I like to allow the market do its thing. For now, GBPUSD, I cannot say for certain, but I'm just going to be watching this. I'm going to move this down on my watch list a bit, you know, further here. So, um, S SPX, not so more, not so much. Gold, um, gold. On the other hand, if I were you, I would leave gold alone for now. Why? Because we have no clear direction, especially now that the dollar index doesn't know what exactly it wants to do. Um, so if the dollar index obviously starts to drop, uh, gold will definitely rally. But we don't know yet because we need the Euro USD to decide what exactly it wants to do. But from what I can see, this is looking like a tweezer bottom. Okay, looking like a tweezer bottom and we might shoot all the way to the upside. So we don't, we can't really say for certain what, what these pairs are going to do. The best we can do right now is wait for what Euro USD does at this point, right? So this will pretty much decide what's going to happen because you know, you have to understand that whatever... The Euro USD and dollar index are kind of like the inverse pairs. If I flip this chart upside down, let me show you. This is DXY is pretty much Euro USD turned upside down. Do you get what I mean? <laughs> it's pretty much something Euro USD turned upside down. So this whatever happens here will probably pretty much dictate the pace as to what is going to happen next. So if I just try and draw a trend line right about here, let's see. Okay, so it seems like we've breached, we, we've poked the trend line, couldn't hold and we're trying to break all the way to the downside. So flip back to Euro USD. So this level will pretty much tell us what the market is going to, I think the Euro, Euro USD is, is definitely a lot more clearer than what DXY is doing. So Euro USD will pretty much, you know, lead the, lead the, lead the pack. So at the moment, my trade on Euro USD, I'm sorry I keep talking about it, I'm pissed. I wanted this guy to come down and shoot it to the upside, but it didn't happen. It's one of those things. Anyways, over to AUD USD that I, I am currently short at the moment. What is the fate for AUD USD? Now, if I know AUD USD very well, um, AUD USD, let me just take this off. If I know AUD USD very well, um, this market is still bearish, okay? This market is what's still bearish. At the moment, we are still trading below this supply zone. But here, we're still trading below this supply zone. As long as we sustain below this supply zone and there's a level of resistance, which is which which is about here, as long as we sustain below these two levels, we're still good for our short trades. So my short trades are still very much on. And what has happened is the market is completing this wave in this pendant pattern. So we've got the X to A to B to C to D to E. So this is looking like an E leg. Um, so if we can if we can drop off from here i think this will probably be the last attempt okay as long as we stay below this green bar at best push back into this yellow bar but this looks looks like be the last attempt at these levels before we eventually roll over so i'm still bearish aud usd because all from all indications we are still bearish on this person no reason why you know the market should rally to the upside as of now uh, fundamental wise technical wise we're still bearish so i'm still holding on to my AUD USD trade holding on to it i've got it 
I'm not shaking, I'm not scared, none of that. Okay, none of that. I'm still I'm still short. So my sell trades are somewhere around here, and I've got another one inside somewhere around here as well. So that's pretty much it, guys, in a nutshell. Um let's look at BTC, see what's happening with BTC. BTC is another pair, is another pair that missed my entry by whiskers but that's fine btc is looking like he wants to approach thirty one thousand six hundred eighty one dollars per coin um so obviously it's currently trying to test it's currently trying to test this um weekly highs because from last week friday this is the highest point from last week friday so it's looking like he wants to you know obviously we're trading around weekly highs from last week so if we can breach this next level target is 31 6, 6, 8, 1. um i'm still there i'm maybe a bit bitter i'm not gonna lie to you because i was expecting the market to pull back into some of my entries it didn't do that but guys at the end of the day that's how the game goes man you know that's the game we're playing you know you cannot be bitter about it i saw you know a couple of nice trading setups but things just didn't line up the way i wanted them to line up for me and that's absolutely fine. I'm in one trade and that's fine. As long as I can sleep peacefully at night, that's pretty much it. So don't beat yourself up too much. Um, and obviously a message to day traders out there. I don't hate you guys. Okay, I hate you guys. Okay, I don't hate you guys that much. <laughs> I actually don't hate you guys. I just want you guys to open your eyes to see how things should be done. You know, how they should be done properly. Because at the end of the day, you make money today, you lose money tomorrow, you make money today, you lose money. It's, it's stressful. And that's not exactly how the market should be used. You you have successfully become a slave to the market. And that's not why the market is here. I know you went for all your seminars and all the things that they took you for and everything. And, you know, they, that's how you got indoctrinated into the market. But I'm here to rewire your system and tell you that, hey, that's not how it should be done. You shouldn't be a slave to the market. The market should work for you. As you can see, I only look at my charts once a day for or 10, 15 minutes just to see what is happening. And I do my analysis once a week and I'm done. I've done my analysis with you guys today. I will not be revisiting these charts to do any analysis until this time next week. Okay. When I'm obviously going to be doing it with you guys. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, to, but to be honest, I have a very strong feeling that BTC will rally up because we actually pulled down... Even this demand zone, it didn't even touch the deal. This thing pissed me off. I'm not even going to lie to you. Okay. So I think there's a lot of liquidity moving into crypto as we speak. If I check what happening to ETH. Uh, is that ETH? Is that ETH features? I do want to look at ETH features. I need to forget about ETH features. I'm not interested in ETH features. I'm looking at BTC. So, you know, the money is pretty much in crypto as we speak. And you have to understand that there's a current change in world order happening right now china is very very serious about pushing their currency agenda they want to make it a global currency so there's a lot of uncertainty and the inflation rate in the u.s is crazy okay so they're obviously starting to um they're starting to increase interest rates i think it's at four percent now which is it's never been this high before they've raised it like it's been this high before but this is the this is the highest and fastest they've raised it in the shortest period of time so there's a lot of uncertainty happening in, in, in the global financial markets and as a fund trader like myself um i will i will my duty is to protect my capital so i'm not really in a hurry just because i want to click click button stretch it i will wait for this market to simmer out relax understand itself okay understand itself give me a clear direction so that we know what I did. But right now, the market is just pretty much everywhere. I only have one trade and one trade alone, and that's AUD USD. So once again, guys, thank you for staying till the very end and you know, obviously sticking with me. Um, I'm going to catch you guys in my other uh, screen right about now. I love you guys very much. Don't forget to join the Discord channel. The link is in the description as always. Don't panic. Don't fear. Just chill out, man. Okay? Don't worry. I'll be back this time, same time next week to update you guys. Let's give you another week to see what exactly is happening so that we don't obviously lose any money. Okay? I love you guys very much and I'll catch you guys. Let's go. Thank you very much for staying to the very end of this very amazing video, guys. I love you very much. I'm going to catch you in my subsequent videos. You know what to do. All the links are down below or around here somewhere. Ensure to grab the program, join the Discord group, and I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. I love you guys very much. Take it easy and... Peace out.